Hey, what's up guys? Man, it's gonna be a nice day today. It's super warm. There's a little bit of wind, so we may end up with some noises in the background. But uh, it's overcast, so the sun's not gonna be killing me. We're gonna put on some Skeeter juice, and we're gonna get this baby running today. Look at it. Just look at it. Man, I love that thing. Ha. Ah. It's a mess though. So <clears throat> here's the plan. We're gonna suit up real quick. We'll grab a weed eater and we'll make a path. We'll mow down all of these uh, stickers because boy, those suckers are sharp. And then uh, I'm gonna try and get the truck jacked up. We're gonna see how that works out. I'm gonna find a wheel out here. I'm gonna stick it on there, get it back down on the wheel. And I'm gonna get underneath, trace some wires, get the hood popped up, get you in there for a closer look, get some fuel, some fuel lines, Get some batteries in this thing and whir it over and watch it go. We're hoping like crazy that there's nothing wrong with the motor in this because I paid a lot for this truck. Uh, a lot more than I wanted, but just look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. Anyways, guys, uh, just let you watch for a little bit while we set up. And uh, you'll probably hear me grunting and spitting and saying some bad words. But uh, let's get started, eh? Let go, push in, let go, push in, let go, push in, let go, push in, okay. <laughs> it's at the end though, see how they're curly? Yeah. We might not get this done. to trim these with the cutters. Yeah, completely out of strength. All right, so, ah, so we're just working on getting the weeds, getting the weeds out of it. Uh, getting the weeds out from around it, because you know I'm gonna have to get underneath it. And, uh, I brought the worst cutters that we have because you know I don't ever use them. Ouch.
Can you, uh, can you do me a favor and get me the jack handle? And that thing pointed straight up and down while the truck moves. This is about to go uh, to put because it's burying it. So you gotta lower the other one and put another brick under it? I do, but I wanted to get some safety under this one. Oh, 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 oh. What? Hey, what? It's moving, it's moving. Yep. 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 Well, it can't really go far, but. It can go further than it just did for sure. This is going to be something we're going to be fighting a lot. But now I think it'll be high enough that uh, well I'll be able to get something under that one yeah. Problem is it moved over this way quite a bit. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. I should have done this jack first before that one sunk all the way, but it's okay. <coughs> well, that was not what I wanted to happen. I didn't want to really want to bust that coolant line. Uh, who is that? Uh, come here. There's a coolant line up there. Is there a shut off? Up here? This one, see it down here? It goes up, goes up like right in the middle. It never has in its life. Look at that Chuck. See the bone on it.
up and working on the railroad all the live long day. We don't have a wire brush, so I work my hands to death. Ooh, where are my safety glasses? I've been given the most important task of all of getting all the sand off these with a screwdriver. Ugh. It's pretty sketchy if you ask me, but I'm on my knees that way if I have to make evasive maneuvers. I can. Some of these are rusted to where there are not even a pattern. This is touching my face. Well, there's a rag on the ground. I was told not to use water, but I really want to use water. It's like, why not? You know? Gonna make mud? Is that such a terrible thing? See, that works. Get some of that goop off. I'm scared like an animal is gonna come out. Am I being stalked by a mountain lion? I don't know. all kind of crazy shit under here uh you want these glasses no okay okay we don't have eye wash. Is that a negative uh all right go back to the go back to the back see where that step is go there the back step? yep yeah. and in that box the short cable there's two short cables and two long ones yeah. Follow the two short cables and tell me where they go in that stack up. Oh, that's hard. No, it's not. Are they on the there's there should be a bundle of four, right? Yeah. Which two are the are the short ones? Um hold on. Be careful. The bottom closest to you, not both bottoms? Um, I don't know. I haven't traced the other bottom. Okay, any other no, it's like the bottom driver and the top passenger. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not a good enough ex explanation. Okay. Let's see. These two... So weird. This is so weird, dude. Uh, so there's two that go to the solenoid, and these two are these two, and those two are ground. Okay. So the outside two are positive. So these two that cross right here. Okay. And that becomes, over there becomes the, the bottom. Oh man. You got safety glasses? Yeah. I need them. Just got a big clump of dirt in my eyes. Yep. There you go. Okay. So these two are the bottom two. Okay. The bottom two, the inside two, the bottom two. Okay, go back to that hole you were in. Okay. 
So you go down in there, put your hand on the bottom two. Okay. Those two right there. Yeah. Okay, now you stay right there. Okay. Those are going to be the positives. Okay, so this one. So that long one and this long one. Okay. These are positive. <laughs> Those are negative. Brand new batteries coming right up. One, two. Okay. One more. Give me a 9 16th wrench. You see me okay? Oh, here. Come over this way. There you go. Yes, ma'am. One second, I'll let you. I don't want to. I don't want to get in there. Just all you gotta do is reach in, and turn the key, just see if it goes buzz. Look, do it before I tighten these down. Okay. Just be careful; the door doesn't have a catch. Open it up, and then hold the door, and then reach in. Just turn the key on and see if it got a buzzer. It does. You gotta wiggle, jiggle, and giggle. Straight up and down. Oh, yep. that key's crooked. It's okay. It's because it's probably now go in and out with it, in and out and up and down. All right, now see if you can get it to turn. Yep. I turned it yesterday. Hold up. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Yep, we <laughs> finna turn it over. All right. There's a tiny splatter. Where? Right there. Nice. It might be in gear, I don't know. We need to know that before you hit it. <laughs> well, it won't start right away, and it'll try and move if, the, if it's in gear. Yeah, but I don't need to fall off this jacket. That's probably true. Cool. It's not in gear. I'm gonna bump it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna wait, because I gotta, I gotta disconnect the fuel Let's see what kind of fuel's in it before I go crazy. All right, now, I don't want to talk too much about it before I actually get the truck running, but uh, I buy new batteries. I don't show up at the job site with a bunch of dead junk like a lot of people. I know we've been over this a bunch of times. These are new batteries. Uh, terminals are clean new jumpers from battery to battery uh, ain't that weird I never picked that off to make sure that was positive but it is we knew that because nothing jumped all right let's just go and get a look at the uh, at the fuel system come on babe I want you to uh, not let a big rat bite me for moving his house uh, I want you to get in there and turn the key on and off, on and off, on and off. Remember the door doesn't have a catch. Huh? Oh boy, you know I didn't bring a filter wrench, so I'm going to need my hands and Chuck's hands. Okay. Yeah, stuff. All right, we'll work on that. All right, give me a. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me get it.
Huh? Did you set me up? I did too. Uh, Boy, I stink. I smell bad. I ain't even bullshitting you. Keys on or no? No. All right. No, I'm not gonna hit the starter. Uh, come help me with this uh, fuel filter truck. Let's see if we can get it off of there. And then I'll put, put the new one on. Well, I mean, either way, it's in there. They're like right in front of it. Well, you can go behind Chuck because he doesn't like it anyways. <laughs> I might be one. So get all of them. You never know what we're gonna take off, you know. Might as well just lubricate that whole thing, you know, just for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> just for good luck, you know, Chuck. And that comes from well that goes to the pump. Mm -hmm. We'll fill that one up with fuel. This one comes from the fuel pump. So we'll get that we'll get a look at that one. Uh, it's a lot smaller than the one I brought lines for, which I think is really strange. Uh, not really, because I can use, I think this is the feed. Yeah, so I can tap right into that and use my, my fuel. We'll uh, fill the fuel filter up with transmission oil and uh, a little bit of diesel and we'll crank on it and see what happens. You know, because if that rack is stuck, which it could be, we might have to take this cover off and look in there and see if the rack's moving. If the rack is stuck, uh, yeah, maybe not. Yeah. I've seen they said a long time ago. Yeah, start. me too. All right, so now I got some grease on my hands, food? huh? You bring your starting fluid? I brought that compressed air diesel fuel one. All right, you ready? You get the bottom, I'll get the top. Ready? Oh, yeah, look at us go. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll get this I off. I think I've done that. You, that was all you? <laughs> well, you know, bro, you're probably right. You know what? I think this thing would have started. Yeah. That's so good. blue. Yeah, thanks. It's really good, actually. Uh, I'm not going to use it, though. Why well, would? Transmission oil, way better. Way better. We're going to keep this one full. So if you if you think I'm wrong after we after I start it, then we'll put this one back on. Huh? Mine will be comical. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, we're going to put this transmission oil, and just so you know, you saw me pour it out of there, but it's just transmission fluid. And uh, this thing is going to smoke like a freight train when we first start it. That's a special sauce. Huh? A special sauce. A special sauce? And then we'll use this as starting fluid as well. Oh, that. And hopefully once we once it starts, this thing will start spewing out diesel fuel. And uh, I hear the disconnect working when you turn the key on. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't run off on us, but we'll take the air box or the turbo intake off and uh, we'll be ready to we'll be ready to party if that happens. Let's give that a look. Come on over here, Jessica. Oh man. All right, guys. So 
I'm on. I'm live. Using my microphone. Okay, so guys, this is where you, you know, it's starting to get real. Uh, you see, we've been working on getting this tire put on. Uh, it's on jacks too, so when it starts, it's going to want to fall off the jacks. So hopefully, that one bolt will hold it. We might start cranking on that again here in a minute. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this air intake off. Maybe if I can get her unstuck, and uh, we'll be able to put a board across this to snuff it out. And we'll also use it for my starting fluid. I use diesel fuel, so it may not work, but it may. Uh, yeah, this will be fine. We don't want to crank on this thing with a gopher living in the air box or anything. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, it's a good sign there ain't nothing in there. Let me look in there. Turbo spins. So we're going to move this stuff because this will get sucked right into turbo. And no, I don't do that for free. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So what I want you to do is I want you to move back there, Jessica, and uh, put it over the other way. Heck yeah. All right. You guys ready to start this thing? Let's see what we got. Nope, nothing coming out of there yet. Nope. Nothing coming out of it yet? Spray in the turbo. Tell me when you're ready. Hit it. All right, we'll fill this filter up again. This more to keep it running once it starts. See, ain't nothing coming out of there. Mm -mm. Um, uh, in my back pocket. Take that line right there, I'll fill it up. Which one? The one on the right. Oh, I'm gonna. I was just gonna do this. See if it. Uh, Once you take your filter off, see if it'll pull anything that way. Uh, cause it's gonna pull out of the filter, out of the holes, or out of the center. I don't know. But then your filter's gonna be empty. Yeah. It's pumping, though. That's fueling tank. It's back there. Yeah, it's it's pumping back to the tank right now. Yeah. So maybe it's just drawing air from this hole. Why don't you tell me that, Chuck? Mm -hmm. Come on, Chuck. Why are you hiding all the good secrets? It's your game. I'm letting you play. Chuck's, Chuck's hiding all the good secrets from me, babe. Oh, yeah. It's going to start now. I can feel it. It's going to start. Whoop. What's she said? She wants to.
thirsty. That's good. Get it to service and change all that. Yep. It's got, it's got four good wheels. Well, you can just put the regular ones on the inside yeah. and throw them out. Yep. Get somebody to polish them up. Hell yeah, guys. Man, that thing runs so good. Look at it, just sitting here idling. I know, right? Man, that's a nice truck. Go look at it. It does got a couple of oil leaks. Well, it's carrying about 70 pounds of oil pressure when it first started. It's, it's carrying 60 now idling. Uh, I'm just going to let it sit there and run. Turbo's spinning nice. Jessica can come in and get a nice view of that. I'm going to keep tightening this lug nut. If you guys never seen this, this is a 1 to 78 ratio hand torque rack. And this thing's capable of 7,500 meters, which is somewhere around 10,000 pounds of torque or something. I don't know. You'll have to Google it. But uh, these lug bolts uh, not good. And so I'm only going to be able to get a couple on there. Just enough to keep this wheel on so we can get it back down on the ground. And uh, I'm going to pull it out of this hole it's in and put it somewhere level if it'll move. I don't know if it'll even move. I might have to cage the brakes and I didn't bring any gauging bolts. We don't know if this motor's any good. We do know that it had good looking oil in it. There wasn't any water in the oil. It had lubricity. Uh, you guys didn't see us test that. We checked it the other day. And uh, running transmission fluid through it right now so it's cleaning the injectors I think it's gonna be a good truck uh, the bad thing about using this torque wrench is it'll wear your ass out that is no lie we got to be careful we can't let it get hot because we just got some zip ties on a heater hose that I broke we might could uh, change that heater hose out. Nice. Well, that thing runs good, don't it? That doesn't smoke a lick. You can see that? All right guys, so uh, I'd hate where this is sitting. It's so annoying. So even though it has no brakes, we're gonna move it. We're gonna come down through here, and we're gonna park it right over there. And uh, hopefully this works. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Dang it! Chuck, you're gonna have to pull me off this block.
Yeah, you might as well back up over here. Huh? You might as well back up over here and we'll strap on, pull it over there. Okay, so let's go. All right. Tell him to wait for me to get the key. Supposedly got that that tire, that brake unlocked. Supposedly got the strap retied. Gonna try this again. Just trying to get it right in that little hole. Oh. It looks, there it goes. It's rolling. Very nice. Of course, like, none of the wheels are actually on the tire, so they're just flopping around. But look at it. It moved into its new spot. Very good. Good job, boys. Y'all did it. Oh, they're still moving, apparently. I'm getting it all the way pulled up. And the rain's coming, so they're gonna have to hurry so we can get this thing tarped off. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Whoa! Super loud! Wow, that's crazy. Anyways, uh, let's let's recap. Okay. <laughs> so, man, damn, I am sweating and stinking. It's crazy. Let me just recap where we're at here. All right, don't pay any attention to this half-ton Chevrolet that drug this four, this Freightliner across this property uphill. We'll, we'll pay no attention to that. What we will bring your attention to, it's not so much, it's not so much over here or back there. It's not so much right here, but what I want to bring your attention to is right here, because no matter how, no matter how good this Chevy truck was at pulling, look what Chuck did to my bumper. This was a brand new. I had just put this bumper on this truck, brand new bumper. And uh, Chuck's like, oh no, I'm gonna hook it up so it doesn't dent the bumper and then look what he did. <laughs> uh, so if you saw the truck before, you saw the bumper was already hurt. And then I hooked it up in here so it would pull against the bolts. Well, once we got to turning and stuff, the old, the old clevis slid down to about right here. And then this is what you get. So we're gonna need to run this truck into a brick wall a couple times. Uh, but anyhow, 1985 Freightliner. I'm gonna call it a classic. I don't know if this is a classic. I don't know if this is a classic XL. I don't know that that's a thing. Uh, so I'm gonna call it a classic. It's probably like a, it's probably an FLD or an FLC or an FLB or an FL double OG, I don't really know. But uh, a 1985 Freightliner, 3406, I'm gonna call it a 400 until somebody proves me wrong. 400 horsepower, 10 speed transmission that's shot. We did figure out, there's a couple things wrong with the truck. Uh, clutch is bad. Um, it's got about this much pedal. Uh, no clutch brake. Pretty solid, pretty solid truck. We got problems with the door latches. We'll need some door latches. Uh, but the big reason why they parked this truck is because the suspension cross tube from this axle 
is, is rusted right in half. So that's probably why the truck went down. Uh, it, you know, Chuck and Amanda used to drive this thing, says right there. I'll have to ask Chuck who Amanda is because I never met her. But uh, you see, we got a couple of drives that are knocked off the wheels. I'm going to send my tire guy over here and see about bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle, and sticking some tires on this thing. Uh, rear diff's almost rusted through. Uh, so this truck's been around the block a few times, probably up north a little bit. But it's in pretty good shape. Uh, runs great, starts right up. You saw that earlier. But uh, So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get some wheels and tires put on this thing. We're going to get it towed over to the house. And we're going to get it scrubbed out, put a new sleeper boot in it, uh, gut it, scrub it, boot it, and buff it. And then put some wheels and tires on it. And then this truck will be uh, just sitting around the shop. This is the backup engine for a project that I might have coming. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes, but I really do like this truck. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Man, ain't she gorgeous? She sure is. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching today. I'm going to try and get this edited tonight, published for tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.